Hello and welcome to Volsung Stratagems. This episode is Mistwalker. Now, Mistwalker is one of the most intriguing and interesting and effective um, kind of mechanics that the triad have in Volsung. It, mm -hmm. It's a fascinating thing. So we have uh, a demonstration here to try and see how we can use Mistwalker effectively. So Lukas, as always, take it away. Show me what we've got here. Okay, so we have uh, Ingrid Rangvaldotir mm -hmm. on the ship. So Ingrid from the Inventors is on the mm -hmm. ship, yeah. Yes, she's in a very hard to get sp uh, spot. Yes. And uh, uh, then we have on the other side of uh, the uh, uh, the dock, we have uh, three triad models. Mm -hmm. You have the Phoenix. Yep. Uh, Hisao. Hisao. Yep. Uh -huh. And a trader here. And a trader. Hiding behind the corner. Yep. Uh, we also have one Nice marker. That was uh, left from the previous turn. Okay. And we can have the, uh, we can have up to two mist markers in play because we have two mist maker models. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now mist marker is a, uh, or mist template uh, is a three inch diameter uh, circle that blocks line of sight. Yeah. And uh, provides cover mm -hmm. uh, within and allows you to use mist walker ability. The mist walker ability, and that's what we're about to see now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I bet that the Phoenix is trying to get some revenge, maybe, on Ingrid. Yeah, in a previous episode on XLBS, Ingrid used her miraculous mirrors to sort the Phoenix out, so this is his chance to get back at her. So. Yes. So, Ingrid is already activated, yep. so you just show that you require certain uh, um, sequence of activations mm -hmm. with the triad to actually, actually uh, use the mistwalk correctly. Okay. So... We'll first start with activating the trader model, yep. who has a mistmaker ability. Mm -hmm. So we'll move him up yep. to uh, five inches uh -huh. and use his quick ability to place a mismarker. There we go. So we place a mismarker in base contact with him. Yes. Yeah. Maybe like in, in this place. Mm -hmm. uh, now, at this moment, that's providing him cover, isn't it? Yes, he, it completely blocks line of sight from mm -hmm. Ingrid. Yeah. Uh, if he were inside the mist marker, mm -hmm. then he would get benefits of the cover. Okay. But at the moment, he's, uh, the line of sight's completely it's blocked. It's safer to deploy the mist marker just in front of you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with his second action, he can just scuttle away. Uh-huh. Now, with my second activation of the triad, mm -hmm. you want to activate... Now, at this point, you, if there's other models, they may have activated, or you may have... A bid to try and steal mm -hmm. an activation, okay? Yes. But we've got to the stage where the, we're activating again. The sequence of activations is very, very important from the triad. Mm -hmm. If you get it interrupted, you can just have very bad things happen to you. Okay. So it is very important to plan out your turn with the triad and the mistwork ability. Yeah. So then we activate Isao, mm -hmm. who is a mage. Yeah. He all, who also has a mist maker ability mm -hmm. and three interesting spells. One of, one of them we'll use in this presentation. Okay. Or two of them, actually. So, uh, he will first move five inches. Uh-huh. Uh, stairs are clear terrain, obviously. Yep. Uh, and then he will uh, use his first spell, which is Miss Walker. Okay. So, we'll need to discard a card uh -huh. in his suit. Yeah. His suit is diamonds. Mm -hmm. So, we'll need to discard a card uh, of diamonds, any card of diamonds. Okay, so if you had a diamond, you'd discard it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we roll some dice. Mm -hmm. His magic ability is four. Yeah. And the difficulty of the spell is, I think, two. Uh huh. So, it's on Hiso. Magic ability is four. Mistwalk is two. Yeah. yeah. So, we choose a target model, which is the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And we roll the dice. That's yep. perfectly fine. Two, yep. Two successes. So now this model, mm -hmm. until the end of turn, we'll be able to use Mistwalk ability. Right. Mistwalk ability allows you to enter into one Mist Maker, one Mist template, mm -hmm. and appear at another, just continuing your movement. Okay. That's all well and good, but he's going to have to move quite a lot. To, yes, that's and, still quite far away. And even if he gets there, that's, doesn't yeah, get him it's anymore. not going to get him now, anywhere. Now, so. has another cool spell. Yeah. It's called the Encroaching Mists. Right. Now, he can obviously move uh, while casting the spell because uh -huh. all spells are quick actions. Yeah. Now you would need to you wouldn't need to discard, uh, discard any card uh -huh. because this spell has a cost of zero. Okay. 
now you would still re requ uh, require to roll four dice uh -huh. and score at least two successes. Yep. No problem. No problem. And now you are allowed to move every mist marker within 12 inches of this model. Every uh, mist marker? Every mist marker. And how far up, can you move? Up them? to six inches. All right, okay. This means that we are now shuffling things around. Yes. Yeah. So this stray mist marker will just come sliding right in front of the phoenix. Uh huh, yeah. And the other one will magically drift upon the ship. I think I see where this is going. Okay. So now, provided that we are not interrupted, mm -hmm. we can activate. Phoenix. Now at this stage Ingrid's already had her activation, so <laughs> yeah. Ingrid's not getting away from this. It no. would be something else that would be trying to interrupt yes. it at this point. Yes. Okay. If you, if she wasn't weren't, weren't activated, she could like try to get away. Yeah. And then you would like to wait until she is activated to actually cast this spell. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to know uh, her to know what is coming. Okay, right. Okay, so now we activate. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix yeah. and he has just about half an inch into the mist marker, mm -hmm. so he enters the mist marker yeah. and he has four and a half inches of the same movement. On the other go. side. Yeah. So, so now he appears anywhere wholly, completely inside this mist marker. Yeah. So let's say here. Uh -huh. And he can now just charge her. Oh, so, that's fearsome. Yep. And when he's there, He'll make short work of Ingrid, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Phoenix is a close combat monster. So, what becomes what becomes clear from that is firstly just how devastating Mistwalker could be. If you weren't expecting it and your opponent managed to play that on you and get the activations in just the right sequence, that could be a game changer. Um, secondly, it's... It, it's all about that sequence. You've got to know, you've got to plan ahead on this one, and you've got to know when to bid uh, to try and steal an activation, or kind of anticipate what your opponent's going to do, because if he's going to do something that isn't going to impact on your plan, well, let him do it and save those cards, because you might need them a bit later. With such shenanigans, you are actually bidding to get all the models of the opponent activated before you. Mm -hmm. So you may actually force him to activate your mod his models before you. With so as well as bidding to go first, you can bid to make your opponent go mm -hmm. first. Right, there we have it. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, why not hop on over to beastsofwar.com where we have the XLBS version of this show, which is an extra long version of it, where we're looking at a whole other set of tactics. Um, Otherwise, why not post below any questions, comments, or ideas that you have, and myself and Lucas will hop into the comments and try and answer where we can. Until next time, you have been watching Volsung Stratagems. So you can move forward. I would certainly move forward because right now you are turning slowly into a monster. Okay, so if I move forward, say six inches, takes me to Five there. Inches. Five inches. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And now you have a free choice of target. This lady has two wounds remaining. Yes. You, you could cast the spell at her and just kill her outright. Yeah. You could cast the spell at the golem, that mm -hmm. would deal him two damage. Mm -hmm. You could just lose two wounds, it is no damage, so uh, boosting this spell does nothing. Mm -hmm.